You gotta love the lower leagues. It's February 2nd, and we can wrap up the title. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Tig Whippies FC. You doing good? You having a great weekend? I hope you did. Welcome back to the gate, to the save. We're here. You guys reached out and you said, hey, we want to see Clifton and Huckdell, which is great. Getting match got rescheduled in between them because we had a waterlogged pitch. We move. We'll skip past it today because we'll give you these two games. But something interesting has happened here. And it goes right here. If we go into the tactical meeting and we look, our task remains simple. If we win our match against Clifton, we will be promoted. It's a good choice, everybody, for wanting to come and see this match. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, you gotta love the lower leagues, man. We, it's not going to be an undefeated season because since the last time you guys were here, we lost 3-0 to Herbley United and the team just, just didn't want to show up that day. Tried to motivate them, tried to yell at them. They just didn't want to do it. You can kind of see we started to slip and let a few more goals by. I feel bad for Graham St. Prims because they kind of felt our wrath as the team goes on, but nope. Today, it's all hand on deck for Clifton. They're second in the league. We're first. Uh, form has been still amazing. Then we have the quarterfinal against Hucknall. And then, to be honest, at this point, it's just a cup run. Because we, if we get promoted, we'll be able to... Hopefully, they'll let us see the, uh, the budgets. But who knows? Anyways, this is the team we're going to take out there with the Tard, Gibbons... Zoltan, Henry, Beaven, West, Luka Konis, Thornton, Kasa, Alexandros, and Musavoyan. It's been a solid group of guys. Uh, where is he? Woodhouse, no. Phil Devine, no. Really? Oh, Stanley. Stanley is who I want. Karen Stanley, Cameron Stanley, the former Everton striker who we've played two games and he's scored two goals, which is good. But Musavoyan's the man. We want to get him out there. And scoring goals. Um, I think it, it, this team has very much been, as, if he's on point and on form and scoring goals, then we're winning games. If he's not, we're losing. And I think that's, I mean, that's lower league for you. If your best striker is scoring goals, and you're probably definitely going to win. But it also makes things very difficult for us. Uh, we also have been, wow, this is a lot different. They've changed up the skin that I've been using. Uh, but it looks a lot different and very interesting. I actually like it. It's the tactics, positive instructions, shouts. You can't see it because my head's blocking it, but if I move it right for you here, like right there, you can kind of see like there's uh, an ongoing ticker of all like the league scores and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, and we also did score a goal. Um, <laughs> Alexandros, who has also been on in the goals, too, which is absolutely crazy. Luca Konis, Henry, Jamie Henry with his third goal of the season. And we are starting to look very, very dangerous here. There's supposed to be like a way the iPad has changed. but <laughs> We've scored two goals in the first 14 minutes and I haven't had any time to make any adjustments to it. Okay, here we go. Or not. I thought I told the game to pause. Anyways, we, we we move, we keep going. It's this is Clifton's first spell on the ball as Fairbother gets it, sends it long. Luka Konis wins that. Thornton Musavoyan headers missed. Musavoyan his thirty fifth of the season. I think we're champions. I think. I mean, it's it's three 0 in the seventeenth minute. Thornton lifts the ball over. He misses his header, and then Artur doesn't usually miss those. Ah, I just... By the way, Luka Konis, was, as soon as we've, we started playing him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, and he has really started to come on in that role. Also, we've signed him to a contract extension. Him, Musavoyan, Atard, and Zoltan have all signed contract extensions. 
which I think is really good and stuff we kind of needed as Alexandros gets his 14th of the season. We may have to sign Alexandros now too because he's really come on in the second half of the season. Like some of those games that were real losing games and Musavoyan wasn't scoring, Alexandros was surprisingly good in the air, by the way. He scored quite a few with his head. Um, but obviously the 14 free kick ability too is nothing to knock home about. As this team is just looking absolutely deadly right now. West ball in. Casa. Casa is a guy who burns hot and cold. You can actually see that with his ability stuff. He's consistency is inconsistent. Um, yeah, he's a pretty inconsistent player. But you want to know what? he? We've seen the moments of brilliance with him. I guess the other kind of good but bad but good thing about this too is that this is lower league. And... I don't believe any of these players are going to be absolutely Premier League quality. Um, I hope some of them become coaches and we can sign them in the backroom staff and put them in under 23s and 19s, 18s. But as it stands on right now, I don't think we're going to be seeing any one of these guys with us up in the Prem. At the same time, we are definitely going to be looking at, you know, maximizing our return on some of these players as well if we can look at turning a profit on some of these okay can i pause it here cool does this come out okay it does okay this is this is this is nice this is real nice okay formations average position tactical formation this is what i like to see shots the last i've been to. there's a custom oh i can custom they have a custom bar i have analytics and i have team stats and that's the away team and the home team. This is a lot of good information. <laughs> Holy crap. This is a lot of information. I really do appreciate it. Oh, this skin is good. Uh, Zealand, by the way, it's the Zealand 4.0 skin on the Steam Workshop if you guys are playing along at home. <sighs> Alexandros, ball in. It is cleared. Casa is going to collect this and... Okay. Is that going to count? No, it's not going to count. This is to head his flag up. I saw it all the way. Musavoyan didn't quite get back on side, but... Oh, boy, that was close. Smart play by Casa. Really kind of like that. Is their ball headed down? Bevan's going to collect this. Henry... Thornton, back to Henry, Casa, Luca Konas, Alexandros, West is very advanced here. Can he find Artur? He can. Oh, boy, that's a pen. Musavoyan's going to step up for the penalty here, and then this is just going to start getting nasty. Yep. Uh, tactics? Okay, that does take me right to the screen. Let's start making some changes. I didn't put a wing back on the bench. That's smart of me. Uh, let's bring Stanley on. Casa for Schick. Uh, Bradley can come on for Thornton. That's fine. Second goal of the game for our tour. They put the skip button up there. Yes, we want to make those changes. Uh, instructions. Just slow everything down. Balanced. Slow it down. Keep it calm. Luca Konis is going to send the ball in. Zoltan with his six of the goal game, his six of the season, six of the game would be outrageous. But once again, Luka Konas, a guy who would like kind of fell out of favor a little bit when we signed those other two midfielders. But I've been playing him a little bit more, and after getting this contract, has really turned it up a bit. Tight offside, he was never offside. Good header by Zoltan. And we're supposed to be playing cautious here, guys. Yeah, not so much. These guys are just running rampant. Um, now I just guess it means we get to start playing more rotational players, more squad players. 
that's a great move by them, but the finish was absolutely lacking. And maybe the board sets our initial budgets. I don't know if they will or not. Bevan, Alexandros, coming in pretty deep to get this here. Bradley, Sawecki, oh, wow, that was dangerous. I just find it funny if you look at like our average positions, how far up the field we are as Luka Konas gets a 10. How many assists did he provide today? Well, we'll see in the press conference. As I'm surprised we didn't get a walkthrough there of a trophy. Well, maybe because they don't have a trophy for this division. Oh, it's also because we're away. But they've done it at away stadiums before, too. Hmm. You're up. I guess that is absolutely unbelievable. Proud tick whips today. Being able to watch players like Luka Konis. I'm fed up with everyone raving at this good and ignoring the fact that we, we should have won by a bigger mark. Phoebe. We won by 6 0. Who are you? Imagine with even better players out there than Luka Konis. Congratulations. Tiku says, Congratulations. What a season. We're going up. Unexpected promotion, or promoted to the counties leagues. So this is the league we're going to be playing in next year. Only two uh, spots, and I think the rule states, okay, the top two ones are promoted to the regional first division. B teams allowed to be a promotion, top teams to be a position. Combined counties leagues, 34 games, everybody try Less games. So that's good. I think we had to play 42 this year, this season. Act lead to promotion. Yeah, he had three assists as a ball-winning midfielder. Absolute class of the man. Uh, I take it back. I wasn't sure of that. Best pass conference. 10 out of 10. So yeah, this this is uh this is over. We are promoted. We are in the next round. Let's see if the board email us about budgets or anything. That might have to wait till the end of the year. Unless we can get a sneak peek. Ooh, they're saying uh no transfer, which is fair. But next season's wage budget could be 1.4k per week. Which would be very nice. Um we're only using 600 which means i can actually probably these guys are going to start asking for contracts but at least we can wait until then uh we also have a lot of guys who are expiring like these guys are all going to expire at the end of the year and i don't know how many of them we're going to actually keep but the good news is you see like patrick has a new contract zoltan has a contract extension we have some guys staying here for a little while longer did Luca Konis sign his yet? He is still waiting. And then what about Artur? Did he not sign his yet either? Oh, I just thought it was his was going on for longer. Well, anyways, I will see you all in a little bit for the cup game. Take a he's going up. So, with a fully rotated squad, we went out and got a nice 2 0 win. We had 20, what is it, how many shots on target? A lot. 20 shots on target, uh, 9 shots on target, 20 shots total. Didn't concede any. Divine, who came up from his advanced playmaker role, played in the deep line forward. Stanley got two goals. All in all, a good performance allowed us to rest everybody today. To go see if we can't go on this cup run and win that sweet, sweet prize of a thousand pounds. This is the team that's going out there. It is close to the best 11 we can put out. Atard, Gibbons, Zoltan, Henry, Vargas, West, Lukakonis, Thornton, Casa, per Alexandros, and Musavoyan. With Beaven, Bradley, Stanley, Guest, and Moss on the bench. Pretty simple. 
I think we'll do all right. Hucknell, Hucknell has have been one of the teams have given us a little bit of trouble, but they caught us in kind of our wobbly patch where I think like usually around like February, like end of January, early February, a lot of your players start getting match fatigue and you start to see like your results start to drop a little bit because of that. Are we home or away for this one? I don't know. Excuse me. But I think we're in better form now, as you guys can see. Ball in. Gibbons tries to do it. Thornton doesn't clear his lines. Oh, it's, he's offside. Yep, this is a home game for us. Oh, my God. They actually have people in the other stands there. Gibbons, Zoltan, Henry, Zoltan, Thornton, the Gakonis. Finds the ball to Casa, gets to Musavoyan, who hits the woodwork. Oh, beautifully worked move. As both teams are pushed really high up the pitch, Casa to West to Casa to West to Luca Conus. Good strength. West, Luca Conus deflected. Moreland now on it. Luca Conus is freaking like a bulldog on this. Varga. There he is. Musavoyan sleds through Alexandros. 18 minutes. The opener's there. The strike partnership of Musavoyan and Alexandro is working out to perfection. But a great ball pick out here by Varga. Musavoyan, quick turn. Sweet goal. You'll love to see it. It has been pretty dominant by us in the first half. It's Alexandro's... Oh. That's not offside. I love that either they score it or they flick onto the back post. And Luca Konis, who doesn't score too many, but absolutely great. Zoltan with a beautiful fleck. And Luca Konis is right there at the back post to send it on in. And we are cruising. I swear I'm not that tired, folks. I'm actually recording this in the middle of the day. I'm not at like 9 o'clock at night like I usually do. It's Ms. Savoyan, Alexandros. Who's the deep line forward here and who's the pipe advance forward? Beautiful strength. Casa gets the ball out wide. West finds Luca Konis, finds Thornton, tries the shot. Varga will collect now. He's on it. Casa, Thornton, Luca Konis, Thornton. Alexandros, Luca Konis, got a forward pass here. Casa. Alexandros, probably offside. Yeah. They were all trying to hold their run, but yeah, both strikers were well off. Good, good shout for Casa, though. Good shout. And Alexandros with a great finish. Wow. He's got a free kick on him, though. That's, like, the one thing. Like, I've always seen, like, he's always got a free kick on him. His Gibbons header goes over the bar. He has got one hell of a free kick. And uh, not as crazy as the other game as... Okay, maybe it is that crazy. Uh, dressing room. Hey, I'm happy with a lot of shots on target. Keep it going, guys. Good times are here. Keep it rolling. Wyatt, Stokes, Westcar, Toll, Lawson, ball over the top, Moreland. You're going to get the cross in. Fishman, Lawson, Toll, Stokes, Wyatt, cross in. Nope. They're going to go back. Lawson, there's the shot. I think that's their first shot on goal. Yes, it is. The first shot. Took him into the 57th minute. Good D. Good defense. Varga. Wow, that's got some whip on it. As Gibbons gets his first of the season. And we are looking a class above and a cut above the rest. Cool thing is, I think next year we get into the FA vase. So that's going to be nice to be able to participate in. And actually 
hopefully get some more prize money because obviously the big deal with this team will be the finances going forward. Things are good now, but when these guys really start asking for some contracts, we're going to start having problems. Most Arter chips the keeper. And a beautiful little counterattack move. Varga, I mean, it's not really Casa. I don't think there is any assist here. But Artur sits the keeper down, goes over the top, scores it. Thank you kindly. And things just keep moving on. This is now it's a free kick. Alexandros, okay, heads it down. Oh my God, Gibbons almost did it again. Henry's gonna get get this too. <laughs> Zoltan, we've got our center backs up here. Thornton, Henry clears it. Thornton again. Gibbon, he's got Zoltan out wide. Casa. All right, and now they finally cleared their lines. Just shows you how good the team is doing when you can have your freaking uh, center backs up front. I know we're going to free kick here. We'll look at it in a second. Uh, West will come off for Beaven. Jeez, Dino Guest will come on for him. Luka Konis has run a good race. I want that ball-winning midfield role. Usually covered. And that's going to be Gibbon's last touch of the game. And Luka Konis is too. As they combined. God, Luka Konis. He also accepted his contract, so we've got him nailed down. It's been an absolute stud. It's Alexandros guest. <laughs> now it's just now it's just pain. Now it's just absolute pain. Guest's only been on the pitch for a couple minutes. We really don't need to be rubbing salt in the wound at this point. But you know. Ugh. It was a good interception and an even worse takeaway. Westcar, Thompson, Wyatt, hold the plays good. Gill, Thompson, Gill, Thompson, Gill, Thompson, Gill, Toll, Moorhead, Ryan, Fishman, close down. Bradley, Westcar, into Rosette. They've had three shots. I don't think any of them have been inside the box. And I would say that is a total victory. It doesn't get much... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much crazier than that. That was absolute scenes, for sure. You have to love it. So we'll wait the media reaction... It's only when I'm on camera with you guys that it takes this long for the media reaction. 6-0. Alexandros gets the man of the match. Does he get like a ton of assists? And a goal and an assist in 10.0. He must have had a lot of key passes. Yeah, 15 key passes. All right. Hey, Bradley. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I don't know. No comment. Cool. Thanks. Uh, let's go to the draw. Which is tomorrow. Since what we'll probably do is cup games and then whatever game is the end of the season so we can see the review and then the board set of the initial budgets. Though we have a pretty good idea of what that would be. And then also I could review the youth intake with you guys as well when that comes in. Whenever that does. Semi-final draw. Quaron. Where are they? Third place in their league. Very cool. So. It doesn't show up in the schedule yet. Now it does. So. Quarren. I think that's when we come back. I can really bust through the season now because we have uh, qualified and as going up as champions. So until then. If you've enjoyed everything, like, subscribe, do all that. If you're not liking things, give us a dislike and let us know what we can do better. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm James. This is Tig Whippies FC. Bye.
We'll see you then.